Look at that fish. Even with Gore-Tex rain pants, I still think I can feel the water getting through. How's your pad tie? Good. Good. Yeah. It's always good having camping pad tie. What's up guys? Getting ready for another mountain trip here. So we got all of our gear packed up. Got paddles, fly fishing rod, got my uh, sleeping bags down below. Got one tent for the two of us. Got my buddy coming on this one. Bunch of batteries, I think we're ready to go. So we got about eh, 18, 20 kilometer hike in and we're gonna be going after some brook trout on this one. So Kizik, I was figuring we'd just do a uh, Standard trail rules for grizzly bears. Okay. Just um, slowest runner gets eaten. Yeah. You know. <laughs> Makes sense. Best of luck to you, but you know, at the same time. <sighs> well, I think we're a couple kilometers in from our first lake here. And uh, that's not the one we're camping at, but we're going to be stopping there for lunch. And we're finally getting high enough that things are starting to thin out. Came out of our little patch of trees there. And that's the view. A beautiful set of mountains up here. Pretty. These are like, these are the larch trees and I think this is the female portion of the flower. I'll show you here. I think that where my thumb is, is the male. I think that's putting out pollen. Yeah, you can see it on my thumb. And this is the female part and that's going to be making the seeds. There's a few of them around. Let's see if I can get it to focus for you. Come on. Super pretty. looking footprints. Do you see any recent looking footprints here? No, I think we got too high up. I think it's down below us. A ways. You see like, yeah, I think it's down below us a bit. All right. I think before we get down there, we're gonna designate this rock, Lunch Rock. This is the spot we're gonna stop and cook food. <sighs> oh, oh, drop the bear spray. Whoops, <laughs> good thing that didn't go off. There we go. You've got uh, most of the cooking stuff in your bag. Okay. Yeah. Couscous. This is uh, probably one of the cheapest, easiest backpacking foods for just like a good warm lunch. Always a go-to for me. Food should be good. Let's take a look here. Oh, look at that. 
little bit too much water, but I find with backpacking food it's better it's too watery than uh than not enough water. Mm-hmm. That works. Always filling, always a good lunch. Yeah. Quick and easy. We drop down a fair bit in elevation here. Back down into the full tree line and out of the, uh, the subalpine area. But I think we're maybe 15 minutes, maybe 20 minutes from camp here. Almost made it. It's been uh, a long day. I think both of us are <laughs> really starting to feel this one. Feel it in the in the pads of the feet, and uh, you can really feel it in the, in the hips and the shoulders. Just a lot of kilometers. So I think we'll keep you guys away here, and I'll see you once we get into camp. We made it. Made it to camp. So here's campsite number one. Okay. And I think we should keep going, check out the other ones. Okay. See if we can get the, the Gucci site. MVP campsite. We got a sign up here, we'll see what that says too. Oh, I'm so happy to be here. <laughs> Take these bags down. All right, the sign says camping, tents, tables, and food storage. Okay, they do have a bear cache set up over there. Okay. Kind of like that. Oh, but you know what? We want to be under tree cover if it's raining. We want to be back farther in. We got the tarp though, right? Yeah, but... I don't see a great area to string it here. You know, I've, I've got only so much string. Yeah. All right, guys, so I'm thinking this is gonna be the spot. Um, kind of toured around a little bit, checked it out. If you look, just through the woods right there, there's a fireplace and it's kind of open, but because of the rain that we might get, I'm thinking set up, set up our tent like right here, and I can even kind of tarp off an extra area of it that'll uh you know kind of tarp off through here maybe keep things dry and give us an a bit of a hangout area and then we can go over there for our fire since we don't have a fire pit at this spot so i'm thinking that that's going to be the move here i'll probably set you guys up for a time lapse so you can watch us set up Got ourselves a little little situation in here. So that should be good. I think I'm gonna blow up the pack raft next and, uh, and then go check out the lake for a little bit. We'll probably grab some firework, firewood before we go down there too. So I'll set you guys up to watch. Got camp all set up here. So, tent, got the tarp set up, pile of firewood for tonight, all over there. And uh, yeah, we can have a fire kind of in that clearing there. And raft is all good to go. So, I think we're gonna head down and see if we can do a little fly fishing before, uh, before setting up a fire and having dinner. Here's the lake. Looks like it should be a pretty easy place to set up. Go find a deep hole and throw out a leech on an indicator.
think I can do it. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Maiden voyage. All right, we'll start by trolling. Well, it looks fantastic here. Nice dark weedy bottom. Drops off to our left. Shallow to the right. Might just be a matter of time here. Come on. I don't know what to tell you guys. This is kind of slow. They're uh, not really, not really nibbling, nibbling. Well, I got a little bit cold out there. <laughs> so, got a jacket, got some peanuts, some rope. I'm gonna set up a uh, an anchor and that way I can hold myself right kind of in the zone where I think that they're gonna be and get my lure down a little bit deeper to them. And which way here? Maybe this way. And, uh, Stay a little warmer out there. I think that'll be the way to do it. Everything's a maze out here. <laughs> I know the lake is that direction. <laughs> so as long as I head over there. Here we go, here's a trail. I think we've had a hiking casualty. It's currently raining and a little chilly. But it was too much hike. I'm taking a nap right here. <laughs> Let me get my stuff set up and get back out on the water. Well, I may not be getting any fish right now, but two loons sitting right out in front. It's a pretty stunning landscape to be fishing in at least all right well I saw one fish nothing went for the indicator so we're gonna try casting for a little bit and then I think we'll call it a day <clears throat> well we just missed our first fish <laughs> Too slow, but cruising this sort of shell. Oh, that's fish. Hey, we got one. Nice. Oh, that feels decent too. Come on, baby. Fighting. That's a good fish. Ah, oh, come on. Oh, <laughs> come here. up 
fight. Look at the size of you. Oh. oh, this is probably the biggest brook trout I've ever caught. If I catch. That is a absolute tank. Oh, not ready. <laughs> Look at the size of it. Oh, come on. Oh, 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 no, no. Under the boat. <laughs> oh. There we got it. <laughs> oh my God. fish that is a behemoth brook trout all right let's get a look at you oh, oh no <laughs> Look at that fish. Look at that big hooked jaw. That is huge. Oh. Oh, put it back in the net. That is a seriously impressive fish. All right, I'm gonna grab some still shots and then we'll do a release. I'm getting blown to the other side of the lake and cold, so we're going to let this beautiful fish go here. One last look. <laughs> oh, what a beast. All right. There it goes. <laughs> and it's off. I coined that fish, Big Chongus. That that fish was 100% a Big Chongus. We got another one. <laughs> this one doesn't feel nearly as big. That last one was really something special. That was the biggest brook trout I have ever seen in my life. Let's see what we got here. Still an impressive fish. This one looks like maybe a female. Come on. Uh. Yeah, female, I think. Still a really big, beautiful trout. Come on. Oh, lively. Not ready to give up yet. Come on, come on. Oh, we got it. <laughs> Another beautiful brook trout. Come on, calm down. Let me get that hook out of your mouth. Come on, girl. Yeah, so this one's a female. Chill. I think this one will do a little bit quicker of a release on. Just get, just do the video. Go. Hey, gorgeous. Alright, off you go. <laughs> wow. 
Wow. Wow. I am totally soaking wet and freezing cold. <laughs> it is time to go back and start a fire. But you know I can't help it. I have to troll on the way home. You know it, we got that pad thai, baby. <laughs> Pork pad thai, chicken pad thai. Just waiting on the water to boil. Get a little fire going. Mm. Nothing is better than camping dinner. Ooh, long day hiking, you get there. I'm always excited for dinner. <laughs> there it is. How's your pad thai? Good. Good. Yeah. It's always good having camping pad thai. Are you still hungry, Kizik? Maybe. I got some socks on a stick. <laughs> you want a sock on a stick? <laughs> Alright guys, well I didn't really film a whole lot there at the end. It's uh... Eh, it just kind of got wet and rainy. We wanted to eat and get the fire going there but it's still light out I think we're gonna call it a night though here just cuz uh, just cuz cuz it's wet and it sucks out <laughs> so got the food gonna hang out in the bear tree and uh, and then start working towards bed cuz there's not really anything to do no point in staying up Hopefully it'll be better tomorrow, although I think it's supposed to be pretty rainy then too. There it is. Safe from the grizzly bears. Hopefully they leave us alone tonight. Well, here's our lake. Notice anything missing? <laughs> Hiked all the way over without my paddle. So, gonna run back and grab the paddle and then I think make just up a cup of coffee and then we'll go out, save full breakfast for after I've caught a couple of fish this morning. Kizik is still tired from last night and yesterday, so he's passed out in the tent. He'll probably be up in an hour or two and uh, yeah, sucks I gotta walk all the way back to get that paddle. <laughs> oh well. Alright, well, got my coffee. And I'm gonna have this tie on fly and head out on the water. But take a look at how just glass calm it is out there. I think the fishing's gonna be really good. Glassy, foggy. I'm super excited to get out there. Ah, this is gorgeous. Every time I come out to a place like this, I say, this might be the most beautiful place I've ever fished. But I think that they're just all this great because I say it every single time. <laughs> I wonder if we'll see any big brook trout cruising in these flats. Oh, that's a fish right there. That's 100% a fish. All right. We're going to cast on that fish. Come on, come on. Didn't go for it. I saw him, I think I cast too close and spooked him. 
This spot just looks so insanely good. There's rocks all here. There's a big log. Oh, there we go. Oh. <laughs> what did I say? We got one. We got one, baby. Oh yeah, that feels, that's a good fighter right there. Come on. Switch back over to doing a bit of trolling over here. There's just too much wind, you can't sight fish. Oh yeah. get that first glimpse of this fish oh not done yet <laughs> there she is <laughs> looks like a big beautiful female yeah nice big female out <sighs> look at her all silver what an epic fish <laughs> all right sorry about that we're gonna get her released there she goes second fish for the day Nice big beautiful female fish. Let's see if we can get another one. Alright, I found the fish, or I found a fish. He went for it, but I missed him, I think. I still see him. We'll catch up. All right, I think I'm gonna troll back in and have some breakfast, and we'll come back out here after brekkie. Oh, there he is. Well, maybe I'll get him on the troll in. <laughs> I can't keep fishing forever. <clears throat> there we go. We got him. <laughs> we got him. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, that's just a hog. Look at how fat this fish is. All right, I think we found a better fly. 
They like this one. Kizek, I got I got a hog. What? I got a big one. If you come over to this point, I'll bring it in. Yeah, I'm gonna show this fish to Kizek. Oh 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 oh! Hey, we got it. Okay. Oh. in the water. Looks good. Okay. This one might even be bigger than yesterday's. Wow. Oh no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Look at that fish. Oh, that oh is a God. hog. <laughs> oh, all right, back in the net. Oh my god, this fish is so heavy. <laughs> Look at that fish. All right. So he's right there, made it out, and uh, just kind of swimming off now. They're pretty sluggish in here. This is kind of, this one didn't fight super hard either. There, now he's getting it. Nice healthy fish. Off it goes. Well, I certainly can't complain. Got a pretty epic fish this morning. Hot oatmeal, camping breakfast champions, and the sun decided to come out. I think this is gonna be a good day. Hang out, spend most of the day fishing, have fire around camp, and uh, yeah. Glad it's not raining. I was worried we'd be in the rain all day today, <laughs> but I think it'll be good. Yeah, I had to put the rod up. This is just too much. I can feel, uh, even with Gore-Tex rain pants, I still think I can feel the water getting through. If not, I'm just getting really cold and I can feel the cold water against my pants. And I'm done. How you doing, Kizik? Pretty good. <laughs> uh, it's probably like 8.30. And it's been raining for the past while. So we're just gonna, fingers crossed, that it's decent tomorrow morning. All of our stuff is wet. So like we're hiking out with wet shoes and wet clothing. It doesn't matter, but maybe it'll at least be clear. And I think we're calling it, calling it super early in the morning. We're gonna get out of here. So didn't film a lot in the evening. It's kind of just rainy and miserable. Catch you in the morning. Good morning, everyone. Well, decided not to go fishing this morning. Just, uh, eh, it's kind of cold, kind of rainy. Conditions weren't perfect. And it was really nice to just stay in the tent. And I'm happy I caught four fish on this trip, which, uh, not as many as a lot of other trips have done backcountry, but it's, uh, pretty good when you consider the the quality of the fish that I caught, you know, those were very impressive uh, for the species. So I think we're gonna 
pack up our gear. Kizik's just working on making his breakfast. I'm gonna make mine afterwards. I gotta go back down to the lake here and unpack my, uh, or not unpack, but repack the pack raft and get that ready. So everything, hoping to be on the trail, uh, probably 8.30, depending on what time it is right now. And I'm guessing we got a seven hour hike out of here. How's the bag feel? Light for now. Light for now. Yeah, we'll see how it feels in a couple hours. Yeah, give another 10K and we'll reevaluate. Yeah. All packed up. It's about eh, 20 after 9, 9.30. A little later than I wanted to get out. I was hoping to get out around 8. But uh, gonna hop on the trail. We got uh, seven ish hours and call that a wrap. Two awesome nights in the mountain, four beautiful fish, and a lot of wet gear and hanging out in the tent in the rain <laughs> but still worth getting out see you guys on the trail Let's see if I can wring water out of this sock. Oh, not quite. I would have figured I could have. That hurts. 